Hey guys, welcome back to the Minoverse. My name is Mino, and today I'm doing a different type of video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my journey as a YouTuber. Everything that you need to know if you're thinking about starting your own channel. So, it's been a year since I've started my channel, and I've learned a lot, <laughs> like a lot along the way about myself, about how to run the channel, and I'm still growing, I'm still learning, uh, and I'm still just as excited about it. I actually didn't know if I was gonna make it a year. I, I told myself, all right, man, if you make it one year, cool, like, everything else is cake. Um, and I was wrong. It, it has not been easy, and I don't think it's gonna be any easier continuing this journey, but I will say it, it's definitely fun work. I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know, everything that I've experienced while running my channel. Starting with, when you start a channel, it's kind of embarrassing to talk about. I don't think that I talked about my YouTube channel uh, to my friends and family until I was like two or three videos in. I didn't even know what to say. And if people like asked me about it, if they like saw me on social media and said like, hey, I posted a video, are you doing YouTube now? I'd be like, no, I'm just trying it out. Versus saying like, no, this is actually what I'm doing. I'm trying to grow my own YouTube channel. So my advice is to let people know because I found that my biggest supporters were my friends and family. And I think that's the way that it really should be. It is embarrassing and it's weird to say, uh, but also just have fun with it because that, that really should be the litmus of how successful you are as a, as a YouTuber. It shouldn't be like, oh, I'm gonna blow up really quickly, but no, it should be like, I'm having really fun creating the videos that I'm creating. The second thing, and this was a little bit harder to deal with, is I didn't have the right expectations for what was gonna happen when I start my YouTube channel. You know, you watch all these giant YouTube personalities and you think, oh, I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna get there really quickly, but no, it takes time. If I think about like Pootie Pie's journey, he, has been on YouTube for 10 years now. And I'm like, man, am I ever gonna get to that status in like 10 years? But ultimately, you can't compare yourself to other people. My growth, I thought it was gonna be in like the thousands by now. But then I looked at like other channels and I realized no, that's just an unrealistic expectation unless like you're really trying to put out viral content versus putting out something that you really enjoy. And that's what I decided to do. I I'm gonna continue doing things that I think are fun and I'm gonna let the journey happen. If I get to a thousand subscribers before the end of next year, cool. And if I don't, like that's not gonna hurt me either because I enjoy the experience and I've connected with a lot of people that watch my videos and I think that's, that's pretty cool. So set the right expectations for yourself coming into starting a YouTube channel. Don't think that you're gonna be an overnight success. Sometimes it happens, most times it doesn't, and that's okay. I learned that my self-esteem would waver depending on how well a video did. Meaning, if I put out a video and it had like thousands of views, I was really happy with myself because I thought, oh look, I did this thing. And if I put out a video and it had less than 100 views, I would feel cruddy about it. And I would think, oh, why am I even doing this? Like, I should give up. Don't let that be a testament of how good your content is. Keep on going. And that's something that I'm actually learning right now. I have like the last three videos I think I put out, less than 100 views each, but I had a lot of fun filming each and every single one of them. And if I ever blow up, the cool thing is people can go back and just watch those videos. They get to see that content that I've continued to create. And I think that's something that's really important. So that's a really big one for me is don't tie your self-esteem to how well or poorly your videos are doing. Sometimes it takes the YouTube algorithm a bit to pick up a video. I have two videos that are in the thousands by now and it's uh, from my Fiverr series. I didn't intend for them to blow up like that but they did and I'm like, cool, like how do I emulate that? But it's not about that. Like I said earlier, it's about having fun. If you're having fun in the creation process, you're gonna be fine. I promise you, just, just keep on going. One of the hardest things to deal with in starting a YouTube channel is staying motivated to make videos. I won't lie to you, I'm sure a lot of people have experienced this. I've spent the last couple of months depressed, have not been excited to do anything and sometimes you'll get into this funk for extended periods of time, but you'll still have to put content out there. I will say that it is, it's helped. 
Creating videos has helped get me out of like the darker side of depression. And the other part of it is that I'm an introvert. So I struggle with talking to people. And you might think that's the weirdest choice to make as an introvert is to start a YouTube channel. But honestly, it helps me feel like I'm socializing and breaking out of my shell. What I mean to say is that even if you aren't motivated, try it anyway. I'm not saying fake it. Uh, what I'm saying is filming videos actually helped pull me out of those areas where I thought I couldn't be pulled out of. So it's actually helped a little bit, but I will say shooting, filming, editing during those times is really, really tough. But if you do it, it's definitely worth it in the end because you'll end up feeling better. One thing that I highly recommend is hiring an editor. I have an editor right now. His name is Omar. This is him. Uh, he has helped to keep me motivated. He gives me ideas. He is one of the best editors I think I've ever seen in YouTube because he's funny. If you're doing it, if you have the money, just hire an editor right off the bat because then all you have to do is film and then send the project over to whoever's gonna edit the video and that's it. You get to review it and see someone else's artistic input come to life and that's honestly my favorite is when we get to do reviews and we go back and forth for a little bit to really refine the video and then you, you see what you see. I would say hire an editor if you can afford it. If not, give yourself time uh, a good amount of time to finish editing a video. I can't tell you how many times I was like racing to finish a video and by the time I was ready to publish, you. By the time I was ready to publish, I hated myself and my voice and the video and the content and everything and I just wanted to burn my apartment down. Don't put yourself into that situation. Learn from me. <laughs> Give yourself grace when it comes to editing. So that's kind of the bad stuff. Normally people will talk about like the type of content you should be creating and the type of channel that you should have. Honestly, do what makes you happy. It doesn't even matter. Like people are gonna watch you for your personality and for the content that you decide that you're gonna put out. It should come from your brain. So if you wanna start a car channel, cool, do that. If you're into art, start an art channel, who cares? It doesn't even matter that there's like millions of videos in each of those categories already. This is your unique perspective that you get to share with people. So that's my advice for you. Don't dwell so much on what you're putting out. Just start putting out content. Just have fun with it and the rest will follow. Now, I've been talking about some of like the downsides, right, of YouTube, but there's a lot of really, really good stuff that happens and that has happened because I started my channel. One, I get to tell people I have a YouTube channel and honestly, my favorite reactions is when I tell kids I have a YouTube channel. They flip out and that's the coolest feeling ever. They're like, oh, you do YouTube? That's crazy. I watch YouTube. And you have like this automatic connection with these like, you know, it, you know kids watch YouTube. That's what they do. You know, that's YouTube is raising kids nowadays. And uh, you know, if they happen to come across your videos, like that's a really cool thing to say. And that brings me into the next point, which is the community itself. I have uh, built relationships with people that I've never spoken to before and I might not ever get the chance to meet But because of YouTube we came together and it's just it's awesome It's it's awesome experiencing that people show support in the ways they do even if it's not your friends and your family, right? It's a complete stranger and I, I think that's that's something that's really really special next up. I've been thinking about this a lot It's an unintended uh, benefit of starting a YouTube channel is that you get to see a history of you. Yeah, I can go back a year ago and see what I was doing. I can see if I was happy or sad. I can see that I was definitely a lot skinnier, less facial hair. My setup was different. I lived in a completely different area, but I get to see that progress. I get to see my own progress as a person and as a YouTuber. And I honestly think that that's pretty cool. So that's the unintended thing is that you get to see a little bit of yourself like through time. Yeah, it's rewind time. The last thing I really want to talk about is uh, how satisfying it is. When I finally upload everything and I finish the thumbnail and all the tags are in and I am able to share it on social media with my friends, my family and anybody that's following me, that is one of the most gratifying experiences I think I've ever had. Because so much goes into making a video and don't kid yourself, 
it is a lot of work. It's gonna take time to film. It's gonna take time to edit. It's gonna take time to upload. All of it takes time and some work. That being said, when you get to the finish line of a video, it feels really good. Every time I'm able to click publish, on YouTube and it goes live. Honestly, one of my favorite feelings ever and I, I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. So, all of that to come around to say, if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would definitely do it. Do it! Get in the right mindset. Know that you might not be an overnight success and that's okay. Have fun with the content that you're creating because that's gonna show through in your videos. If you can hire an editor or someone to help, definitely do that because it will lighten your load and all you have to focus on is creating. It doesn't matter what type of content you're putting out there. Don't be a hype chaser. Do what makes you happy. And hey, if what makes you happy is hype chasing, then go for it by all means. Lastly, have fun with the people that support you. I don't know if I can say thank you enough to the people who have followed me, commented on my channel, left likes on the videos, like it's just, it's really cool uh, to have your own little community and I'm super stoked for everyone that has been on this journey with me. So with that being said, guys, I just honestly, it's been one year, it's been really fun, I'm gonna keep on going, I hope you continue to keep going with me and if you are thinking about starting a channel, just do it, honestly. It's the best thing that I think I've ever done in my life. So I hope this gives you a little bit of information as you're thinking about starting your own channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as possible, which is pretty much all of them because I don't get a lot of comments these days. But yeah, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. And guys, I'll see you next video. Peace.